Yes, I know I'm wearing the same shirt I was wearing in the last video. It's called I filmed on the same day. I think my family has weirder dreams than most people. If you don't think that's true, you can comment your weirdest dream and I will be the judge. Seems fair, I think. So the other day I had a really weird dream and I was telling my husband about it and he was like, you have weird dreams. So then I was just thinking about like all the weird dreams my family has had and I thought that I would share them because I personally think that they are hilarious. We will start way back when me and my twin were like five or six and James had a dream. He said, I don't know if this is still true today, but at, when we were like 16 or 17, he told me that this is the scariest dream he's ever had. He had a really, really bad ear infection. He was sleeping out on the couch and he had this dream. Think of like a beach scene. So there's like the sand and then the water. He's looking out on this beach scene and he sees this overweight gentleman running down on the beach and as I recall he was overweight bald on the top but not like on the sides I don't think and he had red hair red hair and a red beard and he had a green velvet dress on <laughs> and it was kind of like ragged on the bottom like he'd been wearing it for a long time and he had a rope as his belt and he was just running down the beach and as he's running on the sand as soon as he hits the water he starts running into the air and that is the end and apparently it was terrifying for him <laughs> Then James had another dream, and I don't know how old he was when he had this one, but we were pretty little. We were still probably like seven, and he had a dream that all of the prophets, I think it was, it was either the prophets, like of the LDS church, or the presidents, but I think it was the prophets, were zombies. <laughs> and they were like their skin and everything about them was gray except their eyes were blue. They had like come into our house and they were like zombie walking James like into a corner and they had like pinned him in this corner and all of a sudden he looks over and he was next to the washer and dryer. So he looks over and I am standing on said washer and dryer. Little seven year old Rachel wrapped in a blanket. I open my blanket and I'm in my underwear and I just go underwear woman or something like underwear woman is I think I just said underwear woman and then like tackled all the zombie prophets just like jumped off the dryer onto all of them to save James because I'm the greatest sister. My mom when I was in like junior high or high school it was after Pirates of the Caribbean came out so I remember she told me one time she came in and she's all I just had a dream that I got married to Will Turner on the Black Pearl and I was like, oh yeah, how did how did dad feel about that? And she was like, oh, he was fine. He was there with Kira Knightley, so it was fine. And I was like, what? Okay, this one's pretty good. I had this probably like a year ago. So I had this friend who will remain nameless. We're gonna call her Sally. And Sally decided to not be friends with me anymore. In that time, from then and now, she has had a baby. And so in my dream, her husband, who is still friends with me, we'll call him Steve, so Sally and Steve. Steve decided that in the dream he decided that he wanted me to see his baby because we're friends and <laughs> so I had to like meet him outside of his house so I go to I go to their house and I can see Sally inside the house and I'm like oh crap she better not see me otherwise she's gonna be so pissed but Steve comes out with the baby and he's like oh here's my baby and he hands me the baby and the baby is like this big <laughs> and it looks like I don't know what it's called but it was there was a bunch of these when I was little it was like a earthworm looking baby thing but the baby looked like that it looked like that toy from when I was little like in the dream it was totally normal that this baby was this big so I'm like holding the baby and then Steve is like oh Sally needs me in the house I'll be right back but before he runs away he hands me like a little baggie of yogurt and he's like if the baby gets cold put it on on this yogurt it will help and I was in the dream I was like oh yeah that's totally normal and so he runs inside and the baby starts like turning blue and like shaking and in the dream I was absolutely horrified I was so scared but now looking back on it oh my gosh it's so ridiculous um so I'm like oh, oh I better put the baby on the yogurt so I like open the bag and I like put the baby into the bag of yogurt and it's just sitting there on top of the yogurt and I'm like cool now it's fine. And then all of a sudden, the baby starts sinking into the yogurt. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna die. So I like hurry and like pull it out and like put it, I don't know why, I put it on like the, instead of holding it like in my hand, I like put it on the back of my hand. I was like holding it on the back of my hand. Cause that makes sense. And then all of a sudden, the baby was like the size of a Tic Tac. And I was like, 
oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I broke their baby. And then it like started like flattening, the flatness of like a sticker. And it was like stuck on my hand. And I was freaking out because I was like, I totally shrunk and flattened their baby. Their Sally's gonna hate me for the rest of forever. She's never gonna forgive me. And I was freaking out. So yeah, there's that. But if you think you can beat that, you best put it in the comments so I can see it. Thanks for listening to all of my blabbering and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe. Thanks, bye.